Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x raised to power 4 plus x squared equals to 20. Thank you for watching my videos. Also, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. From here, let's take 20 to this side. We have x raised to power 4, then plus x squared, then minus 20, now equals to 0. So, from here, we can separate this 20 and uh, we say this, that is 16 plus 4 and we have x raised to the power 4 plus x squared and minus into bracket 16 plus 4 because 16 plus 4 is 20 which is equal to 0 and from here this minus open this and this will be x raised to the power 4 plus x squared then minus 16 minus 4 which is equal to 0 and then also we can rearrange and then we bring 16 close to x raised to power 4 so we have x raised to power 4 minus 16 then plus x squared minus 4 equals to 0 and when we separate this as putting this in bracket so from here, from the first bracket here, we can write 16 as 4 raised to the power 2. So we have x raised to the power 4, then minus 4 squared. From here, and then we have also plus x squared, then minus 4, which is equal to 0. And then also we can express this as x squared. Then all squared will still give us x raised to the power 4, then minus 4 squared, then plus x squared minus 4, which is equal to 0. So here we have difference of two squares. Where we have this type, we have f a squared minus b squared equals to a plus b times a minus b. In this case, we treat x squared as a and we treat 4 as b. So here become x squared plus 4, then multiply by x squared minus 4. That's we have expressed this one here like this, then plus x squared minus 4, which is equal to 0. And we have what is common here? We have x squared minus 4. We have x squared minus 4, x squared minus 4 common. So when we take it out, we have x squared minus 4 out. Then what we mean here is x squared plus 4. Then what we mean here is plus 1, which is equal to 0. You can write as x squared minus 4 into bracket. Here we have x squared plus 5. 4 plus 1 that's 5 equal to 0. Then we have two cases here. We have x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Or we have x squared plus 5 equals to 0. And from here we can also change 4 to 2 squared. That's x squared minus 2 squared equals to 0. Also applying difference of 2 squares here. We have x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals to 0 so two solution here as well we have x plus 2 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 equals to 0 then here we have x equals to minus 2 taking plus 2 here then x equals to 2 here so and then from here we take 5 to this side become minus 5, that's x squared equals to minus 5. Then we can square root both sides. When we square root both sides, we have square cancel square root here. We have x equals to plus or minus square root of minus 5. And then we can separate minus 5 as root 5 times root minus 1. So we have x equals to plus or minus square root of 5 times root minus 1. And root minus 1 is i, a complex number i. So x is now equals to plus or minus square root of 5i. So from here, we have the solutions to this problem. 
as let's write the, the first one as x1 which is equal to 2 let's call the first one 2 and the second one x2 as minus 2 the third solution we have x3 equals to root 5i and the fourth solution we have minus root 5i now when we substitute all these solutions into the problem given we discover it satisfies the given problem thank you for watching also don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so as not to miss out see you in the next class and bye for now